Hello everybody. In this video we're going to talk about one more mathematical concept that we will need in uh, dealing with uh, unsteady state molecular diffusion, uh, which is the error function. The error function is just a function um, which is like any other function, like sine, cosine, tan, any like len, uh, exponential, any, any, any other function. You just give it an input and then you get an output. Uh, the, the error function is uh, this is the mathematical representation of the error function. It's 2 divided by square root of pi multiplied by the integration of 0 uh, from 0 to z of exponential minus zeta squared d zeta. Zeta is just a dummy variable, just a, a, a variable that's used to do the integration. But at the end of the day, this integral would be a function of z because this the zeta is going to be from 0 to z. So it's it's going to take the value of z or 0. So it's it's a function of z. Um, the the output of this function is in the range of negative one to one and this is how the function looks like this is the blue line in this curve here it starts with negative one and ends with one its variable is almost uh, 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 its its value is uh, is uh, varies uh, from negative three to three or you can say negative two point five to two point five um, and this is this is the region where the value changes uh, and this is where we seek the the value of the error function in uh, in in this this region or in this uh, part of or, or values of x uh, there is one other function that is related which is the complementary error function which is one minus error function we call it erfc c for complementary and the complementary error function is this so it's uh, the the one minus the function, but it starts from two uh, or from zero to two. Uh, this is the value of complementary error function. Um, if if you want to get the value of an error function, you don't have to do this integration because it's it's a well-known function. So you can either go uh, use this the, this graph. So you go for for any value of uh, of x and then get the corresponding value of error function but you, this is very tricky uh, especially if you're uh, seeking a value in this region or in this region where the points or the slope is very very sl small so the change in the value of uh, error function with x is is very small so uh, it's it's easier to use tables like this 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 table gives you the the value of error function for any value of uh, theta or or x if, if it's x um, and you'd see here that this gives you the the values from 1 to almost uh, 2.8 or 3 um, and there is a very very small difference uh, especially in this part from 1.5 to 2.5 you'd see that this this part of the graph the uh, the values are very very uh, close to each other that's why it's it's more convenient to use the table than to use the the graph. Um, sometimes uh, when you deal mathematically with error function, it's easier to uh, use some approximations uh, which which are very close to the actual value of error function. Uh, so for z smaller than 0.5, which is this blue region, you can use this function. The error function of z is two divided by square root of pi multiplied by z minus z part three over three. This is the uh, the value of, or, or almost the value of the error function in this region. In the red region, from x equals or for z is larger than one, you can use this uh, this uh, formula, which is one minus one divided by z square root pi multiplied by exponential of negative z power two. So these these are some approximations that might be useful in some cases uh, that you can use instead of using the error function which might be more uh, easier to handle mathematically. There is one last thing that I want to mention here, which is uh, some useful references uh, related to mathematics in general, and they're going to be helpful in uh, this uh, chapter in, in specific. Uh, these uh, these uh, references is one of them is the Appendix C in uh, Bird and Stewart uh, textbook of transport phenomena. It's called it's Appendix C, mathematical topics, and this is uh, like mathematics appendix in the textbook. But I I just picked the first two pages because they have the ordinary differential equations and their solutions. So what you see here is the table that um, 
we we saw last uh, chapter in chapter 24 of the table of integrals but this is is not the whole table so there is some um, uh, other part of this table that i didn't post uh, bec because we didn't need it uh, but we have some other forms of differential equations <coughs> with different shapes uh, that are like maybe useful for for cases uh, that we might see so this is um, this is the first uh, reference the second is a very 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 useful textbook which calls, it's called mathematical handbook of formulas and tables um, and this is a textbook that is uh, i believe is a very very useful reference that you need to have um, if you if you have any uh, any application that requires mathematics uh, this is going to be the the best place to search for information um, this contains more than 2400 formulas and tables that cover almost everything that relates to mathematics so this starts with let's take a look at the table of contents starts with the like basic concepts the elementary constants the formulas um, then geometries areas volumes and and um, related things then um, you have a lot of information about almost 40 or 50 pages of calculus um, for the derivative indefinite uh, integrals uh, table of um, special integrals i think the table of integrals that we have is is already here but you'll have them sorted in 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 a very easy way to follow so uh, you have the the formulas for um, x x square square root of x uh, together uh, you have formulas for that, that uh, involve uh, len exponentials and stuff together you have um, uh, integrals that are related to trigonometric functions together so it's it's sorted in a very very nice way um, you have here some related to basic differential equations and solutions um, the series um, like Taylor series Bernoulli series for a series and the special functions um, you find them um, all of them here you find this is where I got actually the table of Laplace transforms this is the um, like 18 or, or 13 14 pages of Laplace transform was from here um, and there are like a lot of many many things that you will find here um, so I, I I really encourage everyone to have a copy of this book. I'll put a copy uh, a link to this uh, this textbook in the um, description of the video so that you can um, you can uh, download it and have a copy of it. It's it's gonna be a very very good reference to have. Um, so this is the introduction or the basics that we wanted to cover before we start the, the, the chap uh, chapter. In the next video, inshallah, we will talk about the examples that we want to cover or the cases that we will cover in this textbook, which, is, uh, which are the, the um, unsteady state molecular diffusion in semi-infinite medium and in finite medium. Um, so we will start next time, inshallah, with these two or, or with, the, with the first case. So I'll see you then, inshallah. Goodbye.